is shown, I'm sorry. Now, based on this graph, how many roots in extrema are present? Now, here's what can be tricky. When we talk about roots, there are real roots and imaginary roots. What you can tell when you look at the graph is first by the turns. You see how this has one, two, three turns? Three turns means it has three extrema. Okay, so we have an extrema here, here, and here. We have specifically one, the first one is a local minimum. Local means it's not the minimum over the whole graph, just an area. We have one local max here, and we also have one absolute minimum. Additionally, you can always have at least one more zero or uh, then you have turns. So when I look at this right now, I have four real zeros. You can count that up or four real roots. Those four, four real roots. Now, as I look at this, not only uh, is, uh, do I have, since I have three turns, the maximum here would be four real roots. So that means no imaginary roots either. Now I use all that just to get my solution here. Uh, based on this graph, we have four roots and three extrema. Um, that would be how many are present. Now if it said what are the total, uh, including imaginary, that's where we had a problem, another problem on this ACP review, where if this was graph was say shifted up a few units and this part did not actually touch, you would still call a root, they would just be imaginary. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If it had looked somewhat like this, now y'all know I'm not an artist, but let's say the graph looked like this. This graph would have two real roots, but it could have one, two, three, four roots total. So you'd call these two imaginary, and these two would be the real ones. So if you could shift it and hit, it, hit the x-axis more times, you would count it as a total root, but not as a real root. 